Hello everyone, this is Zenocidal from Team Plasma here, and I'm bringing you another game. Uh, this was actually taken from my favorite computer forum, Overclock.net. If you haven't checked out, oh, well actually, if you're a computer geek or similar, go check out Overclock.net. If you're not a computer geek, it's all right. It's it's all right. There are a few computer nerds who who play StarCraft. Anyways. I'm going to be casting a game on Shatter Temple. Ronin, our Red Terran, is going to be spawning in the right side. And Florex is going to be spawning as the Blue Terran. This is going to be a TBT. And actually, I'm going to turn up the music. It is kind of uh, it's kind of silent on my end. All right. So this is a TBT, as I mentioned, on Shatter Temple. And I was notified that this is a very long and epic game. Uh, both players actually do not have um, a ranking on sc2ranks.com. Apparently, uh, I think these people are playing on the starter edition of StarCraft II. You know, the tr pretty much the trial version. You know, trial or demo, whatever you want to call it. So I, I, I honestly don't know what level these guys are, what league. But we'll we'll see we'll see no criticism here no uh, I don't know biased judgments going down but uh, well uh, oh wait wait what oh okay well Ronin's decided to attack the barracks usually uh, I don't know experienced players usually attack the SCV who's building it. But uh, okay, Ron put down his second supply depot before barracks. So uh, okay, uh, a little out of the ordinary, but it's like nice to see some variation in the builds here. Obviously, if uh, Florex decides to go for a two gate, I mean two gate, two racks uh, pressure, two gax, two racks pressure or bunker rush. Why is there no sound? Music, music enabled. Yes. Okay, cool. So he is making a single marine right now. Obviously, if he goes two racks, he will get screwed. He will get screwed over. No planetary, no orbital command f by either player yet. Obviously, now we know this is probably not anywhere higher than Silver League. As obviously, I, from my experience, uh, I'm in Silver League. I'm pretty sure you use, you, you upgrade planetary fortune. I know, not planetary. Orbital Command right after your uh, barracks is done. No add-ons yet because, well, he's not really mining gas. Just now putting the SCVs on. He is getting a second gas very, very fast. He did get a second gas really fast, I should say. No second gas from Florex just yet. He is ahead in supply. Should probably be orb... Yeah, see? I was right. Making that into an Orbital Command right now. And it looks like Florex is probably going to be walling off with three supply depots. What is this SCV doing over here? Is he gonna proxy a proxy a command center? Because it looks like it. He is saving up a lot of minerals. Probably gonna be yep hiding an expansion in the north side instead of putting it into the natural. Don't know why this SCV getting denied high ground. Apparently, probably he was scouting for any proxy barracks or anything. He's going to be putting down three barracks. I have two more barracks right now. Orbital Command up for both players. No second guess for Florix just yet. Florix is going to be a supply block pretty soon if he doesn't build a supply depot right away. He is going to be, yep, yeah, he's supply block. Florix is supply block. Never want to be supply block, always want to continue. Oh, is this SCV going to scout it? We're going to follow this SCV. Is he going to see it? Is he? Oh, damn it. Always click that APM tab. Oh, did he see it? Did he see it? Did he see it? Oh, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. Answer it. And is Florix going to be hiding an expansion of his own? Hmm. He. It looks like he. He's not. But I don't know if he's going to. If he's going to see this expansion go down. If he does, that'll be a big win. But no, he misses the expansion. Ronin is going to be letting this. Uh, this command center finish up. Turned into a. Orbit command. Hmm. 
Interesting gameplay by both players. See, look, Florks was supply block. Now he's just queuing up a lot of supply depots. But anyways, uh, not actually not walling off with the supply depots, just uh, putting a barrier and having a lot of marines there. So this is a very marine heavy army by both players. There is reapers, but they're not attacking. Uh, three reapers going out right now probably could do some damage if they jump up here and snipe here, or they can jump up right here. Do some damage, but reapers are very, very weak. This SCV does spot it, so Florix will know that the reapers are coming. And Reapers actually, they only have 50 HP each, so they're not really that powerful. But he will be taking out a lot of SCVs. Florix a little late to react to it. He did see it with that SCV leaving. This is why you should always look at your minimap uh, to see any enemy units coming. And minimap is very, very crucial. This Reaper, one Reaper is going to escape out safely, probably going to be waiting and attacking sometime else. This uh, Orbital Command is, well, semi-saturated, I should say. Probably not very nicely saturated, but obviously uh, okay at the moment. Uh, Ronin does have only two SCVs mining on each gas instead of three. So he obviously he's not going for very, very gas-heavy builds. He is going to be adding on two Star Ports right now. Probably going to be getting Medivacs. He does have a bunker on the high ground. Supply Depot is lowered. But this Reaper is going to be taking some shots off. He does have six kills. That's a lot of worker kills. If you look at the worker's kill tab, I believe it is T, no, R. Yeah, worker killed. He just killed 11 workers with three Reapers. This just shows the importance of looking at your minimap. And he, run, uh, Florix is going to be taking out this Reaper right away. He does have some Marauders. He is going to be researching combat shield and Stimpak. He already has concuss concussive shells. So he's getting everything out of the book except the Reapers. Reaper uh, speed, while Ronin does not have anything out of his tech lab right there. He doesn't even have a Marauder out. He only has, if you look at the unit counting station, only four Marines compared to 26 Marines and four Marauders. So obviously, if Florix moves out right now, he will be totally devastated unless this bunker can hold and he repairs it nicely. So we will see how this turns out. Uh, actually, Florix isn't going to be attacking right now because he is supply blocked yet again. Seriously, man. Stop being supply blocked, start doing some work. But uh, Florix also has two SCVs on this gas, not fully saturated, no second gas yet either. But Florix is going to be moving out right now, going to be stimming, but only halfway up the ramp. You need to move up and then attack it. This bunker does go down and one Marauder. It looks like he's, it looks like Ronin is in a really bad position right now because he does not have any forces out on the field right now. Reactor goes down limits the marines down to one each. One marine doesn't even get out of that. And Florix seriously needs to move these marines over here and be attacking. The Vikings gonna be incoming. Actually they can't really do anything right now except land, but remember Vikings that land aren't really doing that much. As you can see right there. Ronin is supply block too, so that's not going to help him build Hellions. And this might actually look like GG. He does have a fusion core, however. Uh, no battlecruisers on the way, however, because he is supply blocked. Uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. He seriously needs to cancel these Hellions. He has 3,000 minerals in the bank right now. Transferring all his SCVs is probably going to be landing somewhere else. I don't know where this is headed to but probably headed to somewhere up north because he is trying to make a recovery right here. Florix, however, could take this out as quickly as possible. Just needs to move the Marines. No! You you need seriously need to put up the orbital commands and I'm going to put myself on busy because I am casting right now. So seriously, take out this orbital command. It's going to be flying right to this expansion right here behind the rocks. But Marauders can take it out. What are What is Florix doing? He seriously needs to be chasing down that orbital command but at the same time he is trying to macro so not that bad as well he does have 200 energy seriously need to be using that energy obviously this is some lower level play just some pro tips for the lower level players put three gas three on each gas and seriously use your energy on your orbital command see look at this he is epically saturated right now this orbital command isn't going to be doing any good Except if he drops a lot of mules, which he is doing now. Only dropped one, actually. 
but uh, all these Florix is trying to take out all the production buildings to uh, you know so he can't make battle cruisers so he can't get Thors etc etc however Ron is trying to make a comeback he is very very low on gas because obviously he only has one uh, one SCV on each gas right there this army does manage to take out this Warbler Command right here that does go down and Ronin is back on one base he does have one starport lifted up and landed right here built a tech lab and built one battle cruiser before that fusion core went down so one battle cruiser will be out for Ronin however I don't think it's that I don't think it's gonna be a match for this many Marines he does have uh, a full 16 Marines right here probably able to take a take out a battle cruiser if micro properly we'll see what happens here now Ron and probably gonna be doing a lot of marine heavy army marine and one battle cruiser and all these units of Ron and seriously need to be scouting around the map because he obviously he does not see anything he doesn't see anything suspicious gonna be moving some units up here to scout out and Ronin does not, and que look at that, queuing up all of his production facilities, only three barracks. Going to be putting down that fusion core yet again, this one battle cruiser. Just sitting here, not doing anything. But Florix does see the battle cruiser now, and it's going to be huge, huge for Florix. I mean for Florix, a lot of scouting information for Florix. Florix has still not taken his second gas, has not taken an expansion. This is one huge turtling ter Terran right now. Even one Marine here, and just three barracks for both players, actually. You seriously need to build more barracks. He is getting out some medevacs instead of uh, battlecruisers because he doesn't have enough gas, first of all. Oh, just now putting three SCVs on gas. And all of these units going to be taking out the add-ons for those barracks, limiting cutting those units in half those rallied, uh, those rallied marines running straight into them and this one battlecruiser needs to be microed properly needs to take out all the marines which is what he's doing now all the marauders are vulnerable however these backing up marines need to focus down the battlecruiser as quickly as possible marauders cannot shoot air that's a huge problem because battlecruisers are doing a lot of damage to these units Now the AI does, oh wait, no, he did focus fire. You need to focus fire the Marines because they're the only ones who can attack air. A waste stim on that, actually. And Battlecruiser are going to be able to take out all these units. Epic saturation here, no more expansions for either player. And yeah, this Battlecruiser is going to be doing a lot of damage. These Marauders seriously need to go into the mineral line and attack these SCVs because they are just going to be dying and not doing anything because, well, apparently Florix just found out that Marauders can't attack air. Battlecruiser is sitting at 32 kills. He is now commander and finally going to be taking out some SCVs. Look at the workers lost tab. Quickly racking up for Florix 22, 23, but this Battlecruiser is going to be able to clean that up more barracks on the way. I mean both of these players are slipping in macro hugely, especially Ronan. He is sitting on 5,300 minerals. Hell, he can he can like quintuple expand right now and build 6,000 barracks at the moment. But this battle crew is just doing a lot of damage as well as these marauders. If you look at the worker skill tab, now 37. Oh, 36. 35. No, oh, I spoke too soon. 35 workers killed for Florex, but of course the OP mule is going to be saving the day. More Marines going to be shooting down this battle cruiser. They need a micro properly. Micro back, micro back. You're going to die. You're going to lose it. You're going to lie. And he loses it. No! Keeps it alive with one HP. Amazing. Repairing that with SCVs. I think he pulled a little too many. But a lot of that, a lot of SCVs. Just saving it in a nick of time. And he is researching. Energy and Yamato Cannon. Seriously, he needs to uh, research Yamato Cannon first. But at this time, no one really cares because this battlecruiser has 51 
kills and no repair it repair your own look around repair it repair it you're gonna repair it oh sour sour about that damn that orbital command that was his last base and now all of these units are going to be attacking marines focusing down the battle cruiser but the battle cruiser is just not and the marine, the marine count is just not enough to take out this battle cruiser. Battle cruiser proving to be very, very effective. 60 kills on that battle cruiser now. There will be a lot more soon. He's getting weapon refit. Uh, I honestly don't know what that is, because I have not seen that ever in my life. Oh wait, no, no, that that's the Yamato can. That's the Yamato cannon upgrade. They they just failed on the icon over there. But anyways, yes, battle cruiser, 63 kills. Okay, well, um, yeah, Florix is just now taking his command center, and he uh, he built it really really far away. He needs to li lift it off and land it closer. Well, actually, he doesn't really have to. But. Uh, I guess that's what he's going to do. Ronan being smart, taking an expansion, but really, all he needs right now is just like 17 barracks producing marines, and he actually will win. Uh, no orbital command? Uh, factory? No, we haven't seen a single siege tanks. Usually when people think about TVT, usually you think about... Uh, a lot of siege tanks and the siege line. And, oh, this is just going to be another siege tank game. Ah, uh, boring, boring. But instead, we're going to be seeing some battle cruiser, marine, hellion, marauder, everything on the map right now except for siege tanks. However, Florix is getting a tech lab on that. Ooh, SCV, idle SCV. Could get siege tank and a lot of siege tanks if he gets a lot of factories. However, he is very, very low on minerals for some reason. Don't, I actually don't know why he is low on resources because usually, I mean, Iran and just like dumped it all in, uh, all in units. And that's smart because, well, he, he needs units. But honestly, I, I think these both of these players need to get more bases. Florix is being kind of smart, getting a third base. Ron is pretty smart as well, getting a uh, natural. So now we have relocated our bases. Relocate our bases to north and south. So now this is cross positions. And this marine hasn't done anything for the past 16 minutes. But that's all right. Ron is going to be taking some Vikings. Uh, I don't know why he's taking Vikings. Probably, he, maybe he's expecting some air units to combat, to deal with the battle cruisers. So he's making Vikings. Uh, a lot of reasons. Uh, not enough gas. Only one gas mining right now with three SUVs on it. No second, third, or fourth gas. Bunker bunkers going up. I don't know if this is going to be enough or on time. This marine does see this army moving out. This army is on a move command, and ooh, Hellions might be able to take out some units. He does stim and walk up here instead of there. Battlecruisers are going to be taken out immediately by those Marines. And Bunkers actually pretty effective, considering how many Marauders that I just took out. And yeah, he stimmed. So ooh, whoa, what happened there? He stimmed and lost all that life. So, bunkers, effective. Having a few production buildings, semi-effective. Uh, semi Having three bases and a third base not mining, not effective. Having a second base without a orbital command, not effective either. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I honestly don't know how long this video, this, this, uh, this game is. I haven't seen it before. I'm casting it live. He is. Oh, Ronan is getting his third and fourth gas. Actually, no second gas. So second, third gas. Uh, okay, so he has a fusion core, and he's getting out his battle cruiser again. Oh, and we do see siege tech. So ha, 
We do see siege tech. No siege tank, so. Oh, one siege tank. Yay! We see one siege tanks. Wow. Two Hellions. I, I think they were supposed to do some worker harass, but they just got annihilated by the Marines in this bunker. Uh, otherwise, not much to say, actually. Except for the fact that Ronin is getting a lot of Marines, uh, Battlecruisers, and Hellions. And obviously, Micro is a factor. However, in this game, it looks like Macro is more of a factor. If both of these command centers were transferred into or upgraded into orbital commands, he would have like nine mules and he would have a lot more income. Like he could have dropped twice the number of mules here. If you look at the income tab, speaking of income, Ronin is at 400, a measly 400 minerals per minute, and Florix is up to 1,200 minerals. So it, it does show you how effective the mules are. However, if this command center was closer, maybe two notches or three notches, it would be like more like 2,000. Just shows you how effective these are. And we have seen a lot of idle workers. Now, by the way, workers do give about 60, uh, 50 to 60 minerals per minute, depending on how far the mineral patch is. The, uh, all of these mineral patches aren't the same distance away from the base, if you guys didn't know that. Also, calling down mules, spending your energy is also a viable option to s use to get more minerals. And Ronin as well. Ronin is getting siege tanks as well. Getting siege tank as well. Hmm. There's only one siege tank here by Florex. If Ronin can get enough siege tanks, he will annihilate all of this army right here because siege tanks do do a lot of st uh, splash damage. Now, Florix is kind of getting the idea of getting more production buildings. However, uh, looking at this base right now, it looks like you can power all of this, uh, fund all of these production facilities nonstop, maybe off of two bases. And the music just stopped, so now I'm feeling like I'm talking into the silence and doing a really bad job. But it's okay, no shame. We do see plus one ship weapons being upgraded by Florex, uh, wait, ship weapons? Wait a second. He, he doesn't even have any, any units out of the starport. The starport is not even done yet, and he's getting plus one ship weapons. Wow, thinking ahead a lot. Meanwhile, we do see plus one attack being upgraded for Ronin. Going to be greatly uh, uh, increasing the attack on those Marines. This is pretty smart, because, well, he does have a lot of Marines. He does this he does have this one siege tank on the high ground. Would it be better if he p positioned it better uh, on this ledge right here, so he can get up, so he can take advantage of all that range of that siege tank. The siege tank, the siege tank does have 13 range when sieged up. That's a lot of range, by the way. So he could get a lot of range right here. Taking the watchtowers, run in that is very very smart. Always want to take the watchtowers, even in uh, even in like higher leagues. Maybe in like uh, I would guess maybe up to platinum, people still don't take take advantage of the watchtowers. But this is like about bronze, bronze level, and people are taking the watchtowers. So interesting to see people have different aspects of different skill levels. Always nice to see. And obviously, this watchtower allows him to see any units that are traveling across the map. Now, Ronin is going to be pushing out with a lot of Marines, Hellions, and uh, battle cruisers. Well, one battle cruiser. All these Vikings are going to go back home. Using hotkeys nicely. However, he does not have his orbital command bases. You know, hotkeyed. Now, Florix at the same time is going to be moving up. The siege tank needs to be focused down. Ronin does focus that down immediately. Siege tank didn't even get sieged up immediately. But it didn't even get sieged up. Wow, that stim, that stim is going to be very, very effective. Taking out almost all the units. Ronin put this battlecruiser on move command, not even using the model cannon on that. So losing almost his entire army. 49 supply to 103 supply. However, these siege tanks are going to be doing a lot of damage. Since they are on... Well, one is on the high ground. One could be placed right there. No more siege tanks. 
because he does not have enough minerals. He does have a lot of uh, gas though. So we just see the exact opposite from like a few minutes ago. Ronin was a lot, had a lot of minerals and a little gas and we see the exact opposite from Florex because he does have nine SCVs on this gas. By the way, if you have more than three SCVs on three workers on gas, it won't do much of a difference. However, Florex is trying to run up here and take out the tank. The tank did do a lot of damage before being taken out, however. He does have another battle cruiser here to take out the marauders. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. He seriously needs to move back. Yeah, okay. He does clean that up rather nicely. And yeah. Mules, as I said, very, very effective. And both of these players, frankly, they seriously need to take more production facilities. Now our, 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 I already said that like twenty times, but I can't emphasize enough how you need to take more bases more production facilities and use your minerals you should always be looking in the top right corner probably every about uh, every 30 seconds just to check up on your supply and your mineral count your resource count if your resources get above uh, I would say if your resources get above 700 you should probably be making more buildings or more units that's my suggestion if your uh, mineral count actually if your resource count actually gets above like a thousand you should probably build more bases and this battle cruiser is going to be focusing down a uh, barracks and it's going to be running out of there without getting hurt too badly a lot of supply depots just randomly placed around people's bases mm, I don't know if they had a reason for that but uh Mm. They didn't lower them either. And wow, Ronin put made two Reapers. I honestly don't know why he's making Reapers at this point. Because Reapers at 37 minutes in the game aren't really that effective. Unless you want to go for some worker harass and then some attack at the front. And then maybe a drop in the main or drop in the third. Something like that. Something to that effect. I mean, Florex is obviously still mining. If you look at the income tab, obviously the income is still pretty ahead of Ronin's. However... I don't think he's making the units that he should make. Uh, by this time, people should uh, these both of these players should have three three upgrades, maybe maxed out army, and like five bases. But uh, hard to say what these people are doing. No more upgrades on the way for Ronin. Plus one attack did finish, and Florex does have. These marines still here just to scout out any more expansions that Ronin might be putting up. Florx is going to be taking this high yield expansion, only putting some a few units to attack these rocks. Marauders do do more uh, double damage against armored, and yes, rocks are armored. This battle cruiser is going to be taking out some supply depots. Uh, I would assume he would take out some uh, some SEVs, but apparently decides to take out some structures. We haven't seen use of drops in this game. You know, medevac drops. We do see use of nicely placed siege tanks. Gonna be doing a lot of splash damage as well as a missile turret just in case of a banshee or, or battlecruiser harass as we see him from Ron himself. Uh, we do see plus one armor being researched from Ronin right now, as well as Stimpak. Yep, 40 minute Stimpak, that's normal. That's that's standard. Obviously, you want to get Stimpak at uh, 40 minutes, yeah. That's very standard. Idle SCVs, obviously. Very, very viable. And Mass Reaper, of course, very standard. And I'm not bashing on any unique plays, I'm just saying that it's unique and, and I haven't seen it before and I'd like to see what effects it has on lower level play now I'm not saying I can do much better but uh... just some constructive criticism no still no order commands I don't think he knows that you, you can have more than one over command or, or I don't know anyways these reapers gonna be scouting around one marine does shoot those reapers. Wow! 
Reapers just two shot the supply depots. However, it's not gonna supply block Florex anytime soon. Uh, Reapers, come on, attack the uh, CVs. Attack the workers, there we go. Now trying to balance out the workers killed. That is a lot of workers killed this game. And sending out his whole army. This is one uh, aspect of lower level play. People usually send out their whole army to deal with situations like uh, harassment. And that puts, puts people in a very vulnerable position because if Ronin decided to move out right when he did that harassment, all of his army would be gone and he would only be left with these few units. So never want to send your whole army. Want to send just enough to deal with the situation. And again, 7,500 minerals really get more bases and more production facilities. Now, Ronin is going to be putting up uh, is going to be jumping into Florex's main right now. And Florex will see his response right... Oh. Well, uh, uh, we, we see... Oh, we see no response from Florex. Instead, he's going to be going for a base race scenario. He's going to be attacking Ronin's main. However, Ronin does have a lot of... This one's not siege up. He does have a lot of siege tanks on the front lines. going to be attacking a lot... At the same time, Ron is just going to be happily attacking away. We saw a lot of units being taken out by these siege tanks. Just ma just utterly destroyed by siege tanks and he just leaves the game because he has nothing left to do with those siege tanks. And uh, uh, Ron is not going to leave the game. Does he? How long? Oh, yeah. He just leaves the game right now. So, nice to see some low-level play. Uh, I don't mean that in an offensive way. I, f I mean that in uh, a constructive and, and thoughtful way. As I, you know, I, I don't really see that much Bronze League play. But uh, th these people, I think f they're from the starter edition of StarCraft. So j you should watch some uh, higher level play, learn from them. And for all of you lower, lower level players, I, I don't mean to bash on you, but just take my advice build more bases build more production facilities to lower this mineral lower this resource count rather you you typically in the higher level play like really really professional competitions you usually see resources never surpass 700 i have never seen uh, a pro player surpass 700 minerals and of course both players well Okay, so Florix didn't didn't uh, use hotkeys at all. Eh, hotkeys are helpful. Now, uh, Florix, I mean, Ronin did use some hotkeys. Would have helped if he hotkeyed his bases. But just remember what uh, everything I said in this video. Don't be ashamed to play in the lower leagues, cause learning is good. Hey, I was there too. I was worse than this. Actually, I, I wouldn't have known what to do after the timer went after 20 minutes. I actually wouldn't have known what to do uh, in the in my first month of playing. So keep it up, guys. Siege tanks. See, th this is part of experimentation is to experiment with different units and see what's best against what. That's pretty much what StarCraft is about, reacting to what your opponent is doing in a smart and responsive way. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave a response. They do have responses now. So this is Zenocidal from Team Plasma signing off.